Cause I hit you with that bad space You ain't coming back Love and try all the bitch you give me space I tell Welcome back, everybody, to Entertainment Curated, the channel where you let us know what we should or shouldn't be playing based upon your actions down below. Today, I have Q with me again. Doki Doki. As we return to Doki Doki, correct. <laughs> I had fun <laughs> playing this with you last time, so I figured we'd do it again. Yeah. Um, Lots of work. Yeah, it was hilarious watching you do all three voices at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> If you're one of the fantastic people that jumped into our last video, whether it was the answer to the PYP or just say hello, there's a comment we chose on screen. The PYP for this video is, would you rather have 10 nipples in random places on your body? Oh, God. Or only be able to sleep with people you find unattractive? Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Yikes. I think I know which one you're choosing. Wait, which one am I choosing? The nipple one? Why? I mean, come on. No, tell me why. I really okay. want to know. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why would you sleep with someone that you find unattractive in the first place? You can't do a question with a question. Why do you think I want 10 nipples? <laughs> because technically you could take them off if you really wanted to anyways. Take nipples off? How do you take nipples off? <laughs> yeah. How do you take that? Freeze dry them. They're like. They're not like pepperonis on a pizza. No, you could saw them off. <laughs> oh my god, this <laughs> just got really dark. You're just sawing ten of your nipples. Well, I guess eight of your nipples off. Or you could do the procedure of taking them off, off too. It also Freeze doesn't even them. say that two of them are in the right spot. It just says ten randomly. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, wait. If it was, what about what if it was ten aside from your normal one? It's not. It's ten, <laughs> just period. Ten random. Okay, well. Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming you would have your two normal anyways. Me personally, I'm going with the unattractive people. Wow, that's shocking. I mean, it's just, it's it's one setback in life. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can still love them. You can still enjoy yeah, being with them. Their personality will shine through. Right, but would you want to actually then, you know... Just turn the lights off all the time. Wow, that's messed up. That is messed up. All the time. Oh my god. Cosplay. Blindfold on? Cosplay every wow. single wow. time. That's, 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 wow. That's... <laughs> I'm horrible. still sticking by it because that doesn't really change anything. Because, like I said, those 10 nipples doesn't tell you that those first two are in the right spot. So, the whole idea of surgically removing the other eight could potentially just leave you with like two nipples that are in weird spots, anyways. What are you choosing? Yeah, that's true. I'm actually choosing the ugly. Are you? Same reason? Honestly, like, yeah. yeah. I really, well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because, like, for me, it never mattered on what you look like. So. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. All right, well, let's jump back in and find out what these poems are. So do you want to... Mm -hmm. Whose poem do you want to read first? Do you want to read Sayare, Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? We should get the glutton out of the way. Get the glutton out of the way? <laughs> so she can go <laughs> off and eat? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so cool, JC. Yeah. I love it. Especially after yesterday's poem. Ugh. You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. <laughs> no, but really! I want to put this on my wall. What? Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well... Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Even, maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? This? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. 
It's a juicy poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sari. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. <sighs> Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aww. You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? sad? I can't see you liking something sad, sorry. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Oh god, she's doing Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. What? <laughs> it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Jaycee. I should go write that down then. Oh, God. <laughs> you can read my poem now, okay? Go ahead. Should I read it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Sorry, it looks stupid. Okay. <laughs> Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie dough. Wow. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. <laughs> Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bo bottle on the shelves with all the other bottles. <laughs> happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in, a, in bottles all in a row. My collection makes uh, me lots of friends. Each bottle of starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Oh jeez. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Like exploring a dark cave, what? <laughs> Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Oh, jeez. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. Okay, they know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so done. Okay. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. <laughs> my empty shells could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come. In such a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Do they want my bottles that much? I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> my friends have been pulled up from the shelf one after the other. Holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who want some. They're all shouting, bleeding, something. 
but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Dear Lord loves him. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Wait, so that was a good one? Yeah. What are the other ones? <laughs> You're not that good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, just... Yeah. That's pretty bad. Okay. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sari's always a, had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Ooh. Who should I show up on to next? Mm, should we do the brat? The brat? Oh boy. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I wouldn't I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. You think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But he never really struck me as her type. Sari has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so... Mm, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. <sighs> that Ouch. was a little unnecessary. But yeah. think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh, God. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> Wait, does it say... Amy? Was... Oh, weird. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. <laughs> Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like a poem to me at all. I know, really. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. 
Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analog or analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my. That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure.、Uh, is she adding her? Anyway. <laughs> yes, she is.、Mm-hmm. Something that you're afraid of. Oh,、uh, oh, you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. She's embarrassed that she likes manga. Hmm. Okay, okay. That makes sense. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that, and I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Jeez, All right,、Simba. who's next? Want to go with Monica or Yuri? Monica. Hi again, JC. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. And I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece.、Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I gave give my poem to Monica. All right. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sari would like. Is that so? You and Sari are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had some these sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sari and I are actually really different. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two have really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm? You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sari's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, teach their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza cut. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me.、Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh?、Uh, I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before. I guess I kind of like playing with my space on the paper, choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short make it feel like they're trying to squeak, or sorry, speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what's it about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can't can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's t- writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. 
You never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Short-term memory loss? <laughs> I'm finish it off with Yuri. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what you've written today. Hmm. Well done, Jason. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Huh? It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poems to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work with brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. Whoa. That's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Oh, God. The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as in... Unordinary? What? Oh, unordinary. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon um, increments its its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. This cursive is kind of hard to read. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So my friend is always... Oh, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. Pavlovian. What? Oh, palo, palo, Pavlovian. Pal Pavlovian. Pavlovian. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, hi. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread. And I feel myself again. What the heck? This girl's weird. Anyways. Um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can get, can't begin to imagine what the poem is about. I think it's about Jay-Z. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think Jay-Z's the raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> so she's thinking of you as a raccoon, Jay-Z. Yeah. Wow. That's right. You're just an animal. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if it, I can take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. You're a raccoon. Well, <laughs> I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. 
I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm really forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh? That's funny. Hmm? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Hmm? She... she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. He, she's right. Uh, I mean... Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's... well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I... I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much time, much more than a few decorations. Suri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us where we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? The... Um, Monica? Uh, yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sorry's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to repair ahead of time. <laughs> Sari, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? Oh, you didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well I did. Do you really think it's a bad of idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys? No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone that what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right! And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sari looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. 
I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It, look like, it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Mm. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Gary! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. <laughs> no way! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Mm, Monica flips through her notebook to, to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands up behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. And I'm actually going to stop it right there. We're hitting up that like, 31 minute mark. <laughs> I'm just like, Whoa. this is going a little bit longer than I want it to be. Dang. That was fast. But that was fun. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh, we're catching mm -hmm. up to where I tapped out on the game. I'm not going to lie. I played this game before. I got to a certain point and I kind of heard wind of what happens later in the game. I'm not going to ruin it for mm -hmm. anybody. I don't even know specifically mm -hmm. what happens. And so mm -hmm. we will have to wait and see. But thanks for coming out and, and, and playing this game with me. Yeah. Fun. Fun. We'll put your links down below. And until next time, whether you guys are online or offline, stay focused and get yours. See ya. Bye bye. Yeah, Sayuri's poem was just low key really perverse. Was it? <laughs>